graph the given hyperbola x squared minus 16y squared equals 64. Okay, so let's take a look. So um, what do we have to do? So for, for a hyperbola equation, we must have 1 on the right side. So it's just like for ellipses. Ellipses and hyperbolas, we've got to have 1 on the right side. So our first step then is to take what they're giving us here and to divide through by um, 64. So we're going to divide through by 64. Why am I dividing through by 64? Because i got to make 1 on the right side. So what does that leave us? x squared over 64 minus, and then this reduces, 16 goes into 64 four times, so that'll give us y squared over 4 equals 1. So that does put 1 on the right side. And now we just need to uh, rewrite this as 8 squared and 2 squared. Now we can go to the graph. Now it's ready to graph. Now how do, how do we graph hyperbolas? Well, basically... We, we start by pretending it's an ellipse. If that was a plus in the middle, that's the only difference between a hyperbola equation and an ellipse equation. If there was a plus in the middle, it would be an ellipse. And what would you do? You would start at the center. What's the center? Zero, zero. Because there's nothing next to x. There's no number next to x or y up there. It's not x minus 3 squared or something. That would shift the center. It's just x squared and y squared, so the center is zero, zero. And then from the center, whatever's underneath x, that's always right, left, isn't it? Just like for an ellipse. So you go right 8, left 8. And whatever's underneath y, that's always up, down. So up 2, down 2. Now, now, if this was an ellipse, if we had a plus sign in the middle at this point, now I would draw a, um, an oval, wouldn't I? This would be where I'd make an oval if there was a plus sign in the middle because it would be an ellipse shape. But this does not have a plus sign in the middle and it's not an ellipse. Instead, this is where you put in the dotted box. You use those same dots, they're important, but you use them to make a dotted box rather than a, um, an oval. So you put that in and then you let the uh, you go you shoot from the middle through the four corners of the box of the dotted box so those four corners you shoot dotted lines again these are asymptote lines right through and let them go out the corners and beyond shoot right out the corners and away they go so same thing here so like that and so we have those four asymptote lines. Now it's time to put in the branches. How does it work? Well, if you have x squared in the front, then your branches are going to go right and left. If you have y squared in the front, then from your box, the branches are going to go up and down. So it's all about what you have in the front. What do we have in the front? We have in the front x squared. So our branches are going to go right and left. Starting in the middle of the box, it'll go right. And the middle of the box here, it will go left. There we go. There's how the branches go. They go forever. They get closer and closer to those, those dotted asymptote lines. These are, these are called asymptote lines. They guide the graph. So, okay, so let's go to uh, the homework system and put in the answer. Now, how do, we, how do we do it exactly? You have to put in the center dot, which is just the origin, and then the upper right-hand corner of the box. Because, and that'll make the box, make the asymptote lines, and put in the branches all at once. So, and what's the upper right-hand corner of the box? It's over 8, up 2, 
because 8 squared is under x, that's over. 2 squared is under y, that's up. So over 8, up 2. Just click that, click the origin, and then that point, and it'll make the, the whole graph. Let's see it. So here it is. Now I'm going to click. First off, you have to click down below whether you want branches up, down, or right, left. See me clicking down here? This is between up, down, and right, left. We want branches on this one that go right, left. So I'm on the one on the right, right, left. First, I because x squared's in the front, so right, left branches. So click on the origin, and then what was the point? It was over 8, up 2, boom, right there. There it is. It makes the branches go right, left. There's the box we have, and there's the graph.